What's up guys, welcome back. Sick Jando here, as per usual. Hopefully not to stay, I'll be getting sick every time I travel. But I just got back from, from a trip, and a friend of mine in the car in an Uber had a really, really good idea when we were talking about ChatGPT, and I wanna see if I can play with that today. Um, I just got back, I was running around doing some James Bond things in, in uh, Dallas this weekend, I, it's a long story. But uh, let's let's play around with this real quick. I think this is gonna be the first video starting it. I played with it a little before, and it, it, it kinda works. So let me show you. Okay, sorry, my brain is just fried, so there's been a bad explanation, but using Blender scripts to make a model of what ChatGPT3 would look like was the first thing I asked it, and it went in with a little bit of nonsense saying like what it would do, what it would make, and I said, I'd like you to make the script, and it made the script, and it's kind of cool. GPT, uh, the ChatGPT is being a little artsy in the way, and it explains everything that it wanted to do, and like why it's making it, it's showing about the output layers, the input layers, the hidden layers, but we can use this now to make scripts in Blender, that we can use to 3D model objects. So the, the longer idea is I wanna find and see if I can find a better way. I originally saw a YouTube video of someone else doing this, but a better way of getting this to this in a format that it, it likes. And I wanna see if I can really get ChatGPT or, or well, ChatGPT to start modeling. Cause it, it understood, it's very primitive, the shapes that it's putting in, but it, it, it understood that it, it understood the assignment. <laughs> it's that simple, but uh, yeah. Okay, and that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, super short video today. I am so tired and sick, but I'm making a video every week regardless of what happens. Um, I'm sick. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, and I'm definitely flushing this idea out. This is something I've been building on in the background, if you've seen all the videos where I talk about uh, AIs and stuff for so long. And the fact that ChatGPT finally, or GPT-3, like a model, finally understands Blender, we're getting close. At some point soon, you'll be able to talk to an Alexa and go, hey Alexa, 3D print me a fork. I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. And it can mop. So we'll talk about this later. This is this is insane. But thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.